Uh, there's 50 studs here. They've brought an extra 60 show sheep and about an extra six stud displays here as well. I think the Dubbo show brings a, a new diverse sort of range of not only the, the, the sheep producer and the commercial grower, but we've also got uh, the expo side of things outside to look at, um, new ideas, new technology that's been implemented in the industry, which I think is really important. Uh, we've been coming to Dubbo for about 25 years. The value for us and, and the Merino stud here coming to this event is to, to not only benchmark ourselves against other studs in the area and across the state, but, but to also have a look at, look at the uh, other sheep here on display, get, get our sheep out there to the commercial breeder and uh, really interact with the commercial breeder so we can see what, what uh, their requirements and needs are for the future. And I have seen the most spectacular and dramatic lift in the quality, scale and quantity of wool cut by these magic modern merinos. There's, there's been a big push for the merino industry and the merino breeder to become more productive. Uh, and, and on the back of that, it's, it's, it's really pushed all, all of us as merino breeders to, to get into gear and, and, and produce the most productive sheep we can. Well, I, think, uh, I think the AWI has done a great job at the moment the last few years. Um, seems to be a lot more interest in the, in the sheep industry at the moment. You know, it's a bit more of a buzz um, and I think things are looking pretty good and, and one thing about wool, um, it's not like crops, if it doesn't rain you're failed and you know if you've got, you got sheep, well you, you're doing okay, you can come out even if the market drops a bit, if the market's going well, well you're ahead. <laughs>